Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and we are doing Primark week. So we are kicking off Primark week with my Primark drawer collection within my whole makeup collection. So this is the big drawer that holds the majority of my Primark stuff and we're just going to delve into it and have a lot of fun. As you can see, I have set out all my palettes kind of over here. We've got face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, then we've got all the littler things. So like little eyeshadow palettes over there. Then we've got like some little compacts we've got more compacts we've got single shadows back there so yeah let's just dive straight into this this is going to be a very lengthy one first we have the cherry eyeshadow palette now these are what came out i want to say last summer of 2019 this is what it looks like this is a very gorgeous palette i haven't actually tried it but i will swatch a couple of shades for you primark palettes are pretty pigmented they're just not overly pigmented if you get what I'm saying then we've got the peachy palette these do gather up a lot of dust because they're kind of like silicone it's not the best kind of packaging either so this is what peachy looks like oh this bronze shade here looks incredible very similar shades and we have honey which is absolutely gorgeous then I have these two palettes here. So we've got Naturally Nude and Midnight Mauves. So these palettes, I believe, came out in 2019. Oh, and I've obviously broke a shadow there, but this is more of your cooler tone. I want to say cooler tone, but then you've got like the one warm tone eyeshadow, but the rest look more cool. And they're very, oh, sorry, I'm swatching with the wrong finger very affordable but again they're not the most pigmented palettes then we have midnight mauves this is such a gorgeous gorgeous me palette i'm telling you i have tested this palette out before this is the master class palette this is meant to be a dupe for i want to say is it the james charles palette i really liked it it was really nice then we've got the sunset beach eyeshadow palette this was a collection that came out I want to say either last year or the year before, so either 2019 or 2020. It is absolutely gorgeous. This shade here is stunning. And I do keep the prices on Primark stuff because it just makes it easier when I'm talking to you guys about certain things. Then we have a few of my longer palettes like this. So this is Laid Bare. Now a few of these you will remember from my previous, previous, previous Primark collection so that one is smolder this one was the original this is the og this is sm smoky i absolutely love that one and they were like four pounds back in the day then we've got the bronze this one gets stuck quite a bit but i've used this quite a few times island escape this wasn't that great but the blue oh my god their shadows are very chalky but they are pigmented we got Fearless. Now this is more like a, I want to say a MAC dupe because MAC came out with these a couple years ago. Girl Boss. See, this is when the prices started going up a little bit. These were like £5. Oh, that colour there. Why have I not swatched it already? It's a very me shade. And then we get into these smaller palettes right here. I've got loads of them. Again, these you would have seen in my original Primark eyeshadow collection years ago. So this is Sweet Dreams. This is more of like your candy colours. And I don't want to lose the slip of plastic for this. Violet Mist. I absolutely love this little one. They have a few purple palettes. And there's one that I've used to death. I just don't know which one it is. Find Your Fire. Look how gorgeous that is. And these shimmers that they do are so creamy. That wasn't that creamy. <laughs> that let me down. Then we've got Velvet Rose. Definitely a rose tone palette. And these were £4 as well. We got Wild Love. This one's gorgeous. You know what I love with Primark palettes? That majority of them have more mattes than shimmers or they have like a 50 50 this one is so gorgeous this is velvet cherry look at it some of these colors that i'm drawn to right there we've got another purple looking one tropical storm 
which I've lost the plastic to of course. Oh look at this cool smoke. I've recently just bought um, blowing smoke from Colourpop. See, this is what I'm saying, look, majority mattes to shimmers. I think I might test this one out, because I'm not sure. I'm doing a couple of full faces of Primark this week, and I'm not sure what I'll definitely be checking out, but this is Nude Basics. I would have already pre-filmed these, because I work, like, constantly. It's easier to pre-film. Purple Mist, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is heavy on the shimmers, but it is gorgeous. Oh, look at this gold rush. I do absolutely love gold. Like, if you've watched me or followed me for a little while, or even if you followed me for a long time, you'll all know I love a good gold. We got Rule Breaker. You know what's funny? I have actually tested a lot of these out, and when I'm looking at them, it doesn't look like I have, but I really have. Oh, Dark Wonder. That is gorgeous. This one I searched forever for because just because of the packaging. This is Naked Truth. I have filmed with this because look how many swatches I've done of it. Got a few more of them. We've got Urban Muse. Very nice. Just lifted you up a little bit higher because we're getting a pile here. Urban Heat. Again, still four quid. Oh, this one, Cherry Blossom. Look at that pretty thing that is cool in my oh it is soft wow it's like a proper duo chrome violet haze again i told you there was a couple of these violet shadows haven't actually opened that one then we got the urban decay dupes so we've got double take which is a cheek palette and then you have the eyeshadow side and I have actually used this we've got the more nudier one so again the cheek side this one looks so nice and so soft oh it's paler than I thought it would be and then you've got the eyeshadow side which is very grungy very what I would wear and then we've got the Jenna Frooms collection so this is her Hollywood Days palette now I did do like a whole review on her whole collection you just have to type it into YouTube and you'll find it. If not, I'll try and remember to link it. And this is her second palette, which I think is the one I used. This is LA Nights. Oh God, then we've got the Fierce palette. Look at that. Like, just look at it. I've used this contour shade millions of times. I always turn them more into bronzers. Then we've got Desert Queen. I'm just going to try and show them over here. This one's gorgeous. This burgundy pink is calling my name. Oh, did we see that? Wow. A few more stuck at the back here. So then we have these £8 palettes, which... The first one's called Wild Romance. There's actually one more that I never managed to get my hands on. So if anyone sees it, it was like more of a autumn-y type colour. So this is this one. Rose Quartz. Right there. That shade is calling me. I think I might test one of these big palettes out. Who knows, I'll be saying it a lot. I've got to choose, haven't I? And we've got Cool Suede. These are so good for eight pounds. I haven't used any of these, so I really should. Cleaned up my arm, put everything back, and now we're onto the second row. So at the front, we have a Lion King palette. Oh, I've never actually swatched these. Bit chalky, but once you melt it into the skin, it's lovely. Look at that. Then we have the Island Escape Highlighter Palette. I'm literally just swatching shades that I know I love. Darker bronze. That is wicked for me in summertime. The summer's coming, guys. Then we've got the Floral Days Highlighting Trio. This, I've never got around to actually reviewing this, I don't think. I can't even get the plastic out. Let's obviously go for the gold. These are more of a baked, baked, I can't talk, baked formula. 
it's not as not as pigmented as the rest at all and then we've got the glow highlighter this one was in like a range in 2019 coming up to Christmas I think with these you literally probably have to use like some sort of spray because they're not that pigmented at all and then we've got these color artistry palettes and so this is angel wash I'm so annoying that I like to keep the plastic on which means when I'm showing you guys I have to spend time taking it all off that is what angel wash looks like again now they're starting to get a bit more heavier on the shimmers that is a lovely mauvey shade we have amber fire which oh my god look at that shade it's very crumbly just like all of Primark stuff to be fair well not everything but it's a fire sh shade I can't talk don't know what's happened then we've got nude silk cool tone palette I'm just going to show you like that the berry velvet one I love their berry shadows look at that this is better because there is more mattes in here let's swatch a couple and then this is the limited edition that Megan kindly found me in her local Primark which is proper heavy on the shimmer but I don't mind because look at them they are really really nice there's different textures in these so you've got more drier formulas and then you've got more wet so this one is a more of a wet shimmer and then this one was more dry can proper tell the difference then we have some of the old school face palettes which I feel like they've not been coming out with anymore so we've got the pure glow highlighting palette this was my favorite for so long look at this shade here wow then we've got the bronze highlight and glow and this is what it looks like it's absolutely gorgeous then I bought this off a of Jill this is just peachy it's absolutely gorgeous look at this shade down here very soft and creamy Whoa. and we've got the topaz highlight and glow palette and then we've got the opal one I think these were more like Anastasia dupes oh look at this one this bronze and glow palette I'm sorry that I'm only swatching golds because that's oh that was really bad it's smooth it's nice but it's a very like not in your face gold and then we've got Luna Glow again I feel like these might be Anastasia dupes but I just don't own any Anastasia and then this is the nudes matte eyeshadow and I think these are meant to be like KKW dupes and then we've got exotic car this is lovely look at that another bronze one they came out with a good amount of bronze palettes this one is an oldie this is gold rush this is I love this palette I used it to death it's quite a worn palette the camera might not show it but there's a lot of scuff marks in there and then the eye candy palette which gets stuck <laughs> this shade looks so nice look at that just making a mess in my drawers my god I still have these old master palettes these were like three four pounds maybe five but it was so good oh my god it's still so soft wow look at that I need to like use one of these again I know you can't get them but they're so nice and then we've got the they don't actually have names this is more of your pinky amovia one some neutrals and then you've got angel eyes this one did have a name which I still have the sticky tape on which means I've never opened it sadly or happily this one's really nice it's definitely what it says on the tin we have some more Jenna Frooms this was her highlight and contour palette which I absolutely loved it's more of like a um, for your medium skin tones look at that the Ursula palette never used this just because I wanted it because it was Ursula then we've got these glow getter palettes so we've got this one this one is gorge I looked high and low for this and then we've got the glow up again this shade here they're so soft not as creamy as this shade was but very creamy and I bought this one off for of Alex this is the nudes contour palette 
gorgeous I really wanted it for this blush oh that's so soft that blush and I've got the blush and glow palette the sculpt and glow palette which I have used these two in a video very long time ago then you've got you are the magic palette this is a Disney one this one opens up like so I use this one it is quite a gorgeous palette again it wasn't the most pigmented but it is gorgeous then we got storm I love the packaging of these never used it but these were eight quid and I thought it was a bloody bargain especially like snow white this one was eight quid and this I absolutely love it like look at that it's gorge absolutely gorgeous and then we have a mini mouse little thing this is just gimmicky <laughs> Like, I only got it because it was Disney, and it was on sale, I think, when I bought it. Then we have the Hip Hypnotic to the Storm palette. Absolutely gorgeous. A lot of eyeshadows in there for £8. And then we have another, like, KKW dupe, which is the Nudes palette. I think this was the original one, because then they came out with the Glow Edition, which, side by side... I don't know how much more glowier it is <laughs> really I feel like these two shades and maybe this shade pops a little bit more but I wouldn't say it was the proper glow edition and lastly in this row we have the Primark 50 shade edition I obviously had to get it I should really test this and see if the pigmentation is any good seeing as there's like 50 shades in there but it is gorge we're on to this final section once I've gone through all my drawers I'm actually going to rearrange them because I do have an extra set of drawers that I recently bought you would know if you follow me on insta or twitter um so we have like maybe eight more drawers to go through and then I'll organize them and carry on going through some drawers with you because it seems like everyone loves sorry let me just sort my hair out To know how I organize my drawers so or these collection videos so I will keep doing them until someone says they've had enough basically um, but first let's just I don't know where to start because this is just chaos to me it's chaos it's organized chaos but it's chaos maybe we'll start with these maybe it'll sh show me that I have a bit more space so we have the Corella Deville highlighting palette now you're ow You'll notice with these that they get stuck because of the little sticky things in the corner. But it is absolutely gorgeous. One of the new Mesmerise palette. I haven't actually used this. I really wanted to test it. Um, but then Primark shut down. And the last item I needed, I put back thinking I had it. And I didn't have it. So this one is the Summer Storm collection. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can I speak? <laughs> oh my god, the OG Black Cherry collection. This was to die for this collection because it was a definite bit of me, I'm telling you. Then we have these new by invitation only blushes um, that Carly kindly found for me in her Primark. And then eventually my Primark did have them. They look like kind of like Kevin Aquan type things. Then we have another Lion King item that I'm sure Luce will appreciate. This is the Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette. It's absolutely gorgeous again. Then I have a Tinkerbell highlighter. So this is more for when I'm a bit more tanned because it's a very bronze. Actually, it's not as bronze as I thought it would be, so I'm sure I could get away with it. Then we have the Black Cherry Blush and Highlight, which is gorgeous. Then this was part of that Mesmerise collection. These are the eye cream base. Well, you've got the eye cream base and then you've got the iridescent eye cream. So you've got one that you can use as a base, which is quite a nice one. And then the other one is like a glossier more texture. So I think it's something that you'll put over and maybe make it look more glossy that kind of trend and sticking with the collection I have this heavenly glow highlighter which looks like that I keep this on because I 
don't want it to go off. And then a couple more items from the collection is the bronzer, which I think I'll be able to get away with. Then they have a blush, which is very toppery. Um, and then they have the highlight, which I picked up and put back down thinking I had it. Um, and then this little thing, which I can't seem to get rid of, which is a halographic highlighter stick. Um, I should actually get rid of it because it just looks disgusting. <laughs> It's, it's dried. I think we're going to have to finally say, no, do you know what? I'll just keep it, but I won't use it because that's the collector in me. Then we have a couple of these metallic eyeshadow creams. So we have the shade Antique Rose. And then we have the shade Jungle, which is a nice green. And then these old little pigments by Eye Candy, which you would have seen one of the palettes just not long ago. Um, these are very old. I don't really want to open them because there's no point in their pigments. They're pink pigments. And then we have a highlight in Cyclone. This was part of the Summer Breeze collection. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's very dry. But it is stunning. Another one. That looks really nice. Hopefully it's a nice gold. Yeah. Oh, it's not as pigmented. There we go. That was the shade Breeze. More MAC dupes. So we have Brunch Club, which was my ultimate go-to back in the day because they've got this in so many different kind of like formulas. I used to love that shade. But I think I've moved on. Then we have Trophy. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gold. Something I definitely gravitate towards Got this oh my god this is amazing this is the bronzer in it actually hasn't got a shade but i've used this and i absolutely love it i've got two of them don't actually know where the other one is it's probably under here somewhere then we've got the dusk highlighter this came out in another collection as usual they're coming out with a lot this is more like pinky toned Pure highlighter in Arctic Ice. This is obviously trying to rip off Fenty because that's what a lot of these <laughs> cheaper brands do. Then we have Spotlight, another MAC dupe. It's more of a MAC dupe because of the packaging than the colours. They keep their own colours but they change they use the packaging. This one's peachy. So you can see it's like a peachy rose gold type shade. We've got two of these mineral glows. So we've got a baked blusher and we've got a baked bronzer. We've got a radiant beam highlighter. I did use this in a video and I don't think, I just don't think I was, um, look at it, barely anything in there. That blown away by it. Then we've got no angel highlighter, which looks like this. I can swatch this one for you. I am picking and choosing what I swatch. It's a nice pinky tone highlight. But you know what I love about it is the fact that I can use it because I don't really go for pinks, but that I would use. Then we've got Bay for Life. <laughs> Very icy pink, as you can see. Pale skins will love that. And then we've got these intense sparkle eyeshadows. I have three of them. We have the shade Untamed, which is this shade. We have the shade Le, which is a nice bronze, like a khaki bronze. Then we have the shade Ambush, oh, definite green. And then we have the bronzing brick. You know I love a good bronzing brick, but this isn't the most pigmented. Like, yeah. And we got the original highlights. So we've got like Frosted, which is this one here. This is what, before they started putting them in the Primark uh, Dupe MAC packagings, Mink Pink. That one's gorgeous. Brunch Club, I used this to death. It was a nice like work colour. And then Gold Digger, that got used to death too. Then we've got In The Spotlight, which is just like a duochrome type thing. Pretty in Pink. 
it's gorgeous. Diamond bombs, so these are the newer ones that I got just before Christmas, I want to say. Pink diamond. Gold luster. They're very chalky, these ones are. And not as shiny, highlightery as the originals. But then, see, that one's much better. We've got the old sculpt and blush kit and strobe and glow kit. Which just looks like that. Remember when these were all the range, just like the sleek ones? Oh my god, I searched high and low for these. These are just another highlight, to be fair. That was She's a Glow... No, they're both called She's a Glow Getter. Gold Glower, that one. And this one is called Off Duty Queen. And actually, they both had these in, and it's just a little picture, which I've put upside down now. The Jenna Froome's blush and highlight. Then we've got their neon palettes, which... I do love a good neon palette. That's the orange one. I can't remember if I did a video. Yeah, I did do a video on one of these. We've got the pink one. See what I mean about their matte to thingy ratio, matte to shimmer. It's really good. And then we've got the green one, which I used. I'm actually a big green lover. I think because it just goes well with my skin tone. We've got a Leopard Luxe eyeshadow, little nine pan palette. Then we've got the I'm Limited Edition little quad. I love little quads because they're just so easy to use for every day. Then we've got another Limited Edition one. So that one, they're both called Limited Edition. Oh, so that's I'm Limited Edition. This is your Limited Edition. That green. I got these in the sale around Christmas one year for like a couple of quid, not even that. Then we got the old versions of those big palettes. This is the matte one. And then we've got the peachy one, which I've done videos on in the past. Very, very old videos. And then we've got the smoky edit. I love their smoky shadows because they're so pigmented. I have a bunch of these. So we have Taupe Treasure, which I don't feel like is proper taupe. Ruby Velvet, uh, Ruby Velvet, which yes, I do think is a bit more ruby. Sometimes I feel like when brands, not just Primark, name a palette, this is Jewel Glow. It doesn't really suit the palette. <laughs> then we've got Smoke Out. Okay. I have a lot of smoky palettes. And this is very shimmer heavy. There's two mattes in there. Then we have Amber Passion. Gorge. We have Peach Dream. We have Nude Addiction. And we have Soft Camo. And then a couple more which just look like this. We've got Rich Jade. Such a nice green palette. Ultraviolet, oh my god, look how purple this is. I do love a good purple eye. We've got some glitter bombs, so these like, once you sh shake and break, <laughs> there it moves around, you get the gist. Let me just make sure I haven't smashed anything. Nope, I haven't. Nicely in there. These are more like jelly textures. But, whoa, I did not expect that. Wow. Sorry. Wow. Then we've got the black packaging one. This is nude. Oh, I really like this one. Of the eyeshadows is their new colour grids that have just come out. And thanks to Carly, she helped me manage to collect them all. They don't have actual like names of the palettes. But like if you look on the back, they have names for each row. So you've got like Charmer, Just Peachy, Firecracker, Burnt Amber, which is in this palette. The next one we've got Free Spirit, Afterglow, Wanderer, Earthly. I'm just going to say all the rows in case you want one of these and you're not sure what it's called. Then we've got Rebel, Jet Setter, Smoke Show and Black Metal. That is a nice smoky 
they do know how to do a good berry and a good um, smoky eye. And this is Rose Blush Miss Mauve Mulberry Black Cherry. I haven't actually taken it out of the packaging, but it is gorgeous. I want to test one of these. And then we've got Orchid Sorbet Mint and Violet. And that concludes all the palettes. Now we are on to this little section here. So right off the bat, we have this glow highlighter thing, which I did get, I feel like on offer. Like it's a nice little liquid highlight. This is in the shade Desire. I think I picked it up at Christmas when it went on a little deal. So I'm not a liquid highlight fan, but I should get into it a bit more. Then I have these nudes. Um, eyeshadow duos so this one is trophy then we've got the shade slay we've got the shade quartz and I did do like I did put some of these in a giveaway once because I had extras this is goddess these packaging eyeshadows are some of the best quality I have come across. I just haven't opened them all. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here opening them all now. So this is the shade Embark. It is a nice deep mauvey shade. This shade here, Crimson. These came out in like Christmas collections. Very nice. This shade here, Nutmeg. Oh, I just love them. Like they're very, very nice. Then we've got the shade Luna. They really love using the same shade names. We've got the shade Global Glow, which is like a dark, shimmery brown. And then we've got Cashmere, which was so nice. This is, you could probably use this as a highlight. It's like a pale gold which is just here we have quartz which is like a pale pink so we've got the shade fired up and these are the single shadows i have used these in a tutorial then we've got the shade coffee bean it's like a dark brown not quite black it's like cool toned then we have the shade oyster shell just looks like this have the shade black cherry they see i told you they love using the same names again like they do have really similar shades so you don't have to have a full-on collection like i do like i can dupe their own stuff in this collection this is spotlight which is just like a nice silvery gray type color then we've got the shade desert Nice transition shade for me. And lastly, we've got Burnished Copper, which I absolutely love this shade. I've used this plenty of times. And we've got another row of them. We've got the shade Midnight Silver. Gorgeous. Got a Golden Rose in Terracotta. Because they do have like other brands at Primark. They even have Lottie London. Then we've got Rose Gold which is more coppery then we've got sweet honey i love that mustardy shade and then we've got warm chocolate bit of shimmer in there smash shadow which is burnished copper that carly kindly got me um luckily enough i do own that shade already but i keep it because i'm sentimental and then we've got another shade Oh no, this isn't called Terracotta. It's a Terracotta range. So the original one was 101. And then this green one that I'm showing you is 133. These were on offer for 50p. have got these, which are crushed pigments that I have actually used on my channel. We've got Burnished. This is a gorgeous shade. And I love the formula. It's that bottom shade. This is the shade 24 Carat. Oh, this one looks really nice. This is the shade Raspberry. She looks incredible. Right here. 
Then we've got three of the floral days eyeshadows. So we've got Lily. She's like a pale shade. I don't know why I keep holding them up like that. And the blue one is called Bluebell, of course. Obviously, Floral Days is around, like, plants. Then we've got the shade Tulip. This is more my shade. could probably use it as a nice blush. Blush? Blush? Blush. It's like a nice pinky colour. These glitter gels, we got pink and silver. I got them at Christmas for like 50p. These are incredible. This gold one, you can literally use with no glitter glue, nothing. It is amazing. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's proper nice. These don't have a name. Then you have like a dark bronzy shade and then like a more dark pink shade. And then we have some dusk ones, so again like a dark raspberry shade, then we have like a, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> um, these are just three different types of pinks really, isn't it? And part of the dusk range because it was a very pink range. Three more normal pigments, not from any range, so nice gold. Remind me a bit of MAC pigments. Again, like a nice deep burgundy pink. Then we have like a blue. Sadly, they don't have any names. And lastly, we have this Beam Loose Pigment, which again is another pink. It's actually, oh no, it says it's called Red. Haven't used this one, of course. But that is my Primark drawer. So get ready for Primark week. I hope you're excited. I'm very excited because at this point I haven't filmed any of it. So God knows what I'm filming just yet. So please stick around and subscribe down below and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.